Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Bitcoin show. I'm your host Bitcoin and today I'll show you how to get your hands on to a lot of money. More specifically, over $3,000 to boost your early game finances so you can customize your Arthur to your heart's content. First things first, you need to make your way south of Strawberry to the Wanjila Lake area. From here cross to the other side of the lake and now head up north towards the trapper location in Big Valley. And now you should see an obelisk which Arthur can interact with and mark in his journal. Once you are done with that, get to the eastern side of the obelisk and a prompt will show up telling you to examine a plaque. Once you do, you will find a gold earring which you could sell for the amazing sum of... Two dollars? Yay! But more importantly, you will get your hands onto the first treasure map for the landmarks treasure hunt. Checking said map will reveal the location of the next treasure map piece which is located in the swamp area. Head to this location right here and you will see a small church, a landmark which, again, Arthur can interact with and mark in his journal. Once done, climb to the roof of said church, now get close to this miniature bell tower and inside you will find a silver earring, which is valued at $1, so you get $3 by now, nice, I guess. But more importantly, the second map will now fall right into your hands. Opening it, you will be presented with this image. Now, follow my instructions right here and get to the northern side of the Red Dead Redemption 2 map, near the Bacchus Bridge area, just south of another treasure you can get your hands on to. More details in this video, link in the description below. But anyways, we are hunting for the landmarks treasure here, so head down to this location as specified and you will see a Hobbit-like looking house. Again, don't forget to inspect it. After which, go to this side of the landmark, climb on top of it, and near this broken window, the examine prompt will show up. Search said window, and the gold jointed bracelet will be found worth $7, bringing your total amount of loot to $10 by now! Wow! And of course, more importantly, you will also get the next treasure map. Now, the treasure hunt will continue to the southeastern side of the Red Dead Redemption 2 map to Bulgar Glade, which is also the site of an old Civil War battlefield. Right to the area in style. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. And then check up this dead tree. Which will give you a silver chain bracelet worth $5, increasing the total value of the loot to $15. <laughs> okay, this is not that exciting, but trust me, the exciting part is coming up next, as you'll get the fourth and final treasure map. This treasure map will take you to the top of Mount Sean, where the real treasure awaits you. To be more precise, the location of the treasure is right about here. But before that, go and find this broken down cannon, so Arthur can also mark this landmark in his journal. And now onto the exciting stuff, right up to the top of Mount Sean and... Okay, maybe I should go on foot from here as this looks pretty dangerous and... Oh for f <clears throat> As I was saying, take a nice little slow walk to the summit of the mountain and here you'll find this sundial, a landmark which oddly you cannot mark in Arthur Journal for uh, reasons. Head to the side of the sundial that has a rock marked with a yellow arrow and the prompt to examine it will show up. Once examined, Arthur will get his hands onto the actual treasure, which is 6 gold bars or 3000 flipping dollars, making the entire value of the loot be 3050 big ones. Nice. Of course, once the treasure hunt is done, we need to head down the mountain, so let's do that in style, shall we? Yeah. 
I hope you've enjoyed this small tutorial on how to get the landmark treasure hunt. If you are interested in how to get your hands on to more money, please check this video here, where I show you how to get your hands on to the mysterious statue's treasure, as well as some other cool little things you can do to improve your playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. And of course, if you found this video useful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and until next time, see ya cowboy!